Hello we all, P60 here, with the fourth part of Resident Evil 4. Continuing where we left off, Resident Evil 4! Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm going to continue my mission. Six hours? Dang. That's crazy. At least there was, like, handgun ammo here. That's cool. Nothing in there. A flash grenade? Sure. And a note. Anonymous letter. There is an important item hiding in the falls. If you are able to get it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church isn't a walk in the park by any means. They've deployed what's called an El Gigante, so God bless. About what's been going on in your body, if I could help you, I would. But unfortunately, it's beyond my power. Power? Man, it's dirty. That's why I slept on the floor. I don't know why. Nothing unusual here. Alright then, so we are all set. Six hours since our last transmission, you know what that means? Night time! Yeah, that's right. I was gonna start singing that Deftone song, but I was like, nope. Because my singing is, like, terrible, so you wouldn't want to hear that anyways. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's night time. And there's nothing else for us to do here, so let's continue beyond these gates and see what happens. Alright then. So, we're gonna see something rather unpleasant here. See this unkindly stranger walking towards us, and then he's like starting to have twitching and convulsions, and then his head explodes, and a big parasitic organism emerges, and that's just nice. Tentacles and stuff. And a razor sharp tentacle as well, which has a crazy long range on it. Shoot it in the face. Till it uh, dies. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't, let, don't, wanna, don't wanna have that near me. Stop backing into me, dumbass. Okay, so you see, those might emerge when you blow the head off enemies from now on, and they usually do. It's rather annoying, to say the least. I mean, you can shoot them other places in the body as well, but they take the most damage getting shot in the face, you know, of course. Makes sense, right? I mean, since that's where they are exposed. There we go. Dropped some gold. Ooh, 5,000. And handgun ammo. Sweet. Right, so we are back on track. Gonna jump over here. And jump over here. And... Nothing else here? No. Alright, let's just get going. There's like a river here with a waterfall. It's beautiful. If it wasn't raining and uh, everybody was out to kill me, then it would have been beautiful. Right? Very, I like, you know, I don't know, tranquil and comfortable, you know, cool village. With people living simple lives. Get down. Oh, we died. He dropped some shotgun shells. Why was he throwing axes at me then? Why wasn't he given a shotgun? Well, I'm glad the villagers don't carry shotguns because, well, it would have been rather uh, annoying, to say the least. You know, it would have been uh, quite awful, actually. I got another spinal. 
pool. That's pool right there. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is shoot this down. Shoot that one down. There's another one over there. Shoot that one down as well. It doesn't matter where you shoot them, they will always wind up in the same area. Which is rather good because otherwise it would have been pretty, you know, annoying to mash everything up if they just like wind it up wherever you shot them down because that would have been pretty impossible to make it over them. But the developers were very, you know, smart by doing that. They should have just made them static to begin with. You know, why are they moving around if they don't, you know, wind up where they fall down? It makes no sense at all, but I'm glad that's the case. Power that up and power that up. Which will in then turn close the gate and the water will take a different direction. And that causes the waterfall to disappear. So we can go through to that cave. Which is great. I forgot to do something though, that isn't great. I'm stupid. In case you didn't already know that. Villagers are gonna appear. Usually just run past. Okay, maybe not. Usually works better than that. You know, to go up here. Usually can do it without taking damage, but not this time around. This might be, you know, considered, you know, cheap, but what are you gonna do? It's uh, the easiest way to deal with these guys. You know, to and, uh, you know, without wasting too much ammo. I mean, I guess you could just shotgun everybody, but, you know, this is. Missed one there, no, that's lame. You know, you get simple headshots on him, and it's it's rather simple. <laughs> Time consuming, but ammo conserving. And hey, that's that's great, isn't it? Ample amount of time to reload as well. Plus, they take damage from falling down, so I mean, everybody wins on this except these guys. But hey, who the hell cares about these guys? No pony, right? Still. Yeah, you guys never learn, do you? I don't mind blowing your heads off, though. It's rather fun. And I believe I'm done. They dropped some ammo, shotgun shells, and handgun ammo, which exactly what I needed, because that was my last bullet left. Yeah. Um, I missed something, though. I should have done that before. Why didn't I do that? I don't know. I can still go through this cave though. So this is where we are supposed to go, but I uh, did something wrong. Take the round insignia, you got the round insignia. The door opens. And we'll talk to Hunnigan yet again. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. I know. Hey, what I actually did the first time I played this was I went straight back, did a 180, and went the exact same route I came from, back through the swamp and everything, back to where I was supposed to go. That's uh, not really what you are supposed to. You can do that, but it's uh, it's rather stupid to do so because it, you know, back in the swamp area and everything, there's like wolves that are really hard to kill. So, uh, it's pretty stupid. There's a motorboat here, you can just take that and you will wind up back in uh, that area where the merchant was, you remember, before we entered the swamp. But, I actually forgot to do something by the lakeside, so what I will do now is go back to the lake and I will meet you right there. Alright, so, back at the lake. See those blue lights over there? Straight ahead. Um... I was supposed to go over there, but um, I, I forgot about it, yeah, kinda. So, uh, that was pretty stupid of me. But I'm going there now, so, well, and you know, you didn't have to watch me go in there. You know, backtrack all the way, but you watch me wind up here. You also see me get that amber ring back at the waterfall as well. Forgot about that too. But now, everything's uh, taken care of, almost, so we're here. 
gonna move these crates and get these barrels. There was only one crate there, but we're gonna move some more crates, just so you know. Go on top of this roof and there we go, now we're talking more crates. That one and then this one. And that's that. Get that. Get these. Green gem. Get more money. And we can actually jump down here. Get some rifle ammo. Which... Oh, no, 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 no. That's just stupid. Okay, I have to discard... Flash grenade. Yeah. Well, that's stupid. Very stupid. We winded up where the merchant is. We can still talk to him here. Got a selection of... But we're right beside him. Yeah, makes sense, I know. Uh, what we're we gonna sell is the spinal. We're gonna sell the antique pipe. We're gonna sell the gold bangle with pearls. And we're gonna sell the amber ring. We almost have 60,000. So, what can I buy? Some cool stuff? No. Tune up some cool stuff. We're gonna tune up their firepower for the rifle and the capacity for the rifle. Might as well tune up firing speed for the punisher and then nothing else. Now, time to reorganize some stuff for use that. Restore some health. Whoa, sorry. I don't know if you heard it, but I was like burping inside my mouth, or inside my throat, rather. I know that sounded very disgusting, but what are you gonna do when nature calls, you know? Um, hmm. You know what? I might as well just sell these as well. The flash grenades, I mean. <laughs> Take up too much space, and frankly, I shouldn't have sold them. Oh, crap. I... Oh, never mind. I guess I'll have to do with just, you know, incendiary grenades. And the two regular ones, I think. That's good. Yeah, that's good. We're still not done in this area, though. Still some other stuff to do. And before I forget, no stress or anything, but we can... No, wait, I didn't want to examine it. I wanted to combine it with this. See, with the elegant mask, and now that one has a gem inside of it as well. We need two more to completely fill it up. And don't worry, we'll get there eventually. Sooner than you might expect, to be honest. More TMP ammo, more handgun ammo, more money, and now... I think we're done. Quite a collection he's got here. Yeah, why isn't he like selling me these like Chicago typewriters here? Check where do you get all this artillery? I don't know. And why isn't he like helping out here? I don't know. So yeah, we're done. So what I'm gonna do now is see you back at the waterfall. So I'm back where I left off. You know, here we are again. So, let's just get on this boat and be right back where we are supposed to go. Goes by rather fast, doesn't it? And all of a sudden, we are here. For a series of, like, connected underground tunnels. You don't get to see them, but they're there. Of course they are. And, uh, we are back with the merchant, yet again. I don't think he has anything new, no. Did I pick up anything I could sell? Sell the gold chicken eggs, but frankly, I don't want to do that. Tune up, shotgun, no, 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 no. Everything is good as it is. And you know what? We are going to save it. This typewriter, yet again. By the way, this, uh, as you may have noticed, you can save how many times you want. See, I've saved 43 times on that save, like, up in the top there. Uh, yeah, you have unlimited saves. Some people might, you know, not like that, but, you know, I... I've, Managing like ink ribbons and you know have limited saves that really isn't really my thing and you know that you know Inventory management that you really have to do in all the all, all the Resident Evils that's really not my thing So yeah, I I like the bastardized, you know version the third-person shooter version over the old you know tank control version or Resident Evil so yeah, that's just my opinion I just like to play good games and I'm not saying the old Resident Evil games are bad, but they're not really my type of game at all. Just so you know. Um, uh, just so you know as well, we are gonna face off against a major foe here. Gate closes. 
which looks very easily climbable. Um, just my opinion. These villagers. Yeah, they're cooling and they're bringing out. They're pulling out. What's called an El Gigante, which looks very, very similar to what we saw in Lord of the Rings, doesn't it? I mean, everybody says that, but I mean, it's very, very similar, I have to say. Maybe the, this one looks slightly bigger, though, doesn't it? And uh, he kills all his friends. That means I don't have to deal with him, but I have to deal with this guy. Yep. No, f no further ado, we just have to face him off. Uh, there are some stuff here we can grab, which I really want to do. Yellow and green and no, yellow and red. Uh, before we do anything else, I'm gonna combine some stuff here. Like that. And like that. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Wanna keep as much distance between him and me as possible. Not by doing that. Whoa. That was rather close. Can hide behind these houses for a little while. Spam. Well, that doesn't do much damage, does it now? Let him destroy these houses. Because they will spawn items for some reason. And recognize that fella, right? Hey, it's that dog. Yeah, because we helped him. He helps us. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's yours, my friend. He won't help you unless, you know, if you leave him there, of course he won't help you, but, you know, since you help him, he will help you. That's the beauty of it. Break out the sniper or hunting rifle and uh, shoot that parasite. This does the most damage. That's why I'm using it. Can use him as well. I don't think that damaged him because I think he's like immune currently. <gasps> Crap, he's coming. It's coming right for us. Let's just. Ooh. That wasn't very good. Smash them houses. Smash them good. Shoot you in your face. Your face, your face, your face. You ugly ass. Son of a... Whoa. Get away from me. I don't know why the houses contain ammo like that. That's not there normally if you go inside a house. But apparently they've used ammo to build a house. Makes sense. Smash the last one I believe. Yeah, he's in agony. That means we break out the hunting rifle. Wait until he's on his knees. Zoom in and... Shot at. He's in pain. And, uh... Well... You know... That wasn't hard. And why are they opening the doors? I mean, they would have some kind of remote control link to that guy if he lives or not? I mean, makes no sense at all. Really. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. 15,000 for killing that dude. The dog disappeared. I don't think the dog dies, though. I'd rather not think that. I think he lives on happily ever after. See? Well, <laughs> that wasn't hard, was it now? Might as well get one of those. And then we have it. We can have it like that. These, these, let's reload. Might as well have this. No, yeah, might as well, for now. We are done here. So let's get back on track to that church. That was rather easy. I remembered it to be harder. But maybe I've gotten better at this game. I think I do. I've gotten better at most games I play. Except for Crash Bandicoot, I suck at that game. If you, if, in case you haven't noticed, just check out like Digital Masterpiece's latest speedrun he did against me. 
terrible. Both of us, terrible. We should be ashamed of ourselves for even posting that stuff online. It's shameful. Shameful, shameful. It's a pretty horrid speedrun, but it's pretty funny. So, go check it out. Okay, this is rather annoying. Let's break out. Not the shotgun. I wanted to have the sniper. Hunting rifle. I'm gonna call it a sniper because it has a scope, you know, so... There's a wolf up there. Shoot him in his face. And be rather quick about this now. I don't think that killed it. Maybe it did, because it hit him right in the screen in the face. So maybe it's dead. Wait. It's not dead. Wait, but it's dead. And wait. There might... There is another one. That I know. So let's be prepared. Break out the shotgun. Be prepared for close range combat. Sharpen your ears. I killed it. There's another one there, as you see. It's not coming towards me, though. For some reason, it's just standing there. That gives me ample amount of time to kill it. Whoa, 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 I see one. It's on the right side. That's not dead yet, and that's... They're both alive. Get away from me. Now we're talking. Still not entirely done with this yet. I believe. If I am correct, which I believe I am... We are gonna go right into the church and not do anything else right here. Right now. That's what I was saying, right? You all knew that. Open. So open up. Purish. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're inside the church. I'm just saying, oh, crap, because of that puzzle you're gonna do here. I don't remember the solution. I know I wrote it down somewhere because I had, you know, always took so much time on this, but... I don't remember where that note is. This insignia is everywhere. I wonder if it's a religion from this region. It's not. It's a cult. But hey, isn't every religion a cult? Just saying. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, not dwell on that any longer. Let's go up the ba 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 ladder to heaven. Well, we're inside a church, so, you know, might as well pull that one off. Actually, it's got to be here somewhere. There's got to be a way to open this. Of course. But first things first, we're going to jump over here. Just match square and he will jump over right away. So you don't have to wait for the swing back. Which is nice. Here are the puzzle. Or here is the puzzle. Because there's just one puzzle here. Not many. So here is the puzzle. You know what? The puzzle here is to... Turn these colors so they are, you know. Wait, it's more simple than I remembered it to be. I think. I believe it's supposed to be something like this. Could be wrong. Yeah, that's definitely wrong. Okay, but yeah, you're supposed to rotate these until it matches everything up. So. I'm gonna do this, and then I will be right back when I, you know, remember the right combination here. Why well, I did it upside down. Uh, okay, well that means everybody's, or everything's gonna rotate two times, and then it will be good. I hope. Yeah, alright, well that's cool. Never done it upside down before, but hey, there's a first for everything. That didn't take nearly as long as time as I would have thought, but I'm still gonna edit some stuff out, which you will notice, of course. So let's open the door, shall we? I'll listen to some Tom Jones here. Ashley, don't come! Hey, take it easy. No, get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. It's Leon. 
I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Playing manual free, yeah, we don't need to read that. Once Ashley dies, it'll be game over. That's mainly what they say. Wait. You press R2, you can wait for her. You can order her to wait or order her to follow you. That's basically it. And if you do it like this, she will hide behind you. And, you know, it's... She takes pretty good care of herself, mainly. She can't fight back or anything like that. You know, she's a lady. She can't fight, you know? Uh, not being ironic at all here. I hope you noticed. Uh, but yeah, we are now protecting Ashley for... No, I'm not gonna say. I sh you can do this as well. Hey, what are you looking at? Now she forgot to cover her up. Cover herself up. Can't really see anything. It doesn't look like she's wearing panties, though. You pervert. I didn't... Yeah, well, whatever. I was supposed to go back up because I saw some barrels there. Which I didn't get. Why didn't I get those? Frankly, I don't remember. Might as well do that now. I mean, there's probably only a flash grenade here. Incendiary grenade, alright. Alright. Well, it's better than nothing. Can't jump over, can't jump down. So we have to jump down back at the ladder. Just so you know, the part is about to be ended. You can obviously tell by the video length, but... Hey, just a heads up. Not gonna be any abrupt cuts or anything like that. Hell no. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler. The master of this fine religious community what do you want to demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power of course no longer will the united states think they can police the world forever so we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back no They shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. <laughs> you okay? Uh, Leon. What's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. Uh. Well, hopefully. Alright, so yeah, that's uh, the end of chapter 2 1. Next chapter is 2 2. My hit ratio is 88%, so it went up a little. Only killed 14 enemies, though. Not uh, really a lot, eh? We will save the game and uh, we will end. Wait. <laughs> I'll end the part right here. This was uh, part 4, Resident Evil 4. Stay tuned for part 5, coming really soon. Stay tuned for all things PlayStation. But for now, P6U, going offline.